Hey guys, it's Kate with the community team at Snell Games USA, bringing you another video on Dark and Light's basic how-tos. Today we're going to be checking out the new Forging Knowledge node. Let's take a look at the Forging Knowledge ranks. Forging Knowledge rank 1, you will unlock the Refining Forge. In order for you to be able to unlock this schema, you will first need to travel to the Ice Caves and harvest some Frozen Crystal. Like we did before when we harvested small parts from the goblins and consumed them, you want to do the same thing with the frozen crystals. When you've harvested and consumed enough frozen crystals, you'll then be able to unlock the refining forge. In order for you to craft the refining forge, you'll want to harvest dark stone, iron ingot, and also some rare gems. Once you've crafted your refining forge, you'll notice that it is quite similar to the normal forge, only now you can craft more advanced metal alloys. To increase your forging knowledge ranks throughout gameplay, you'll want to craft as many refining forges as it takes until you're able to unlock forging knowledge rank 2. Refined Square Cast and Refined Obsidian Block. Both of these schemas can be crafted in the new refining forge. At forging knowledge rank 3, you will unlock Refined Metal Alloy. This is another enchanted metal that can be crafted in your new refining forge. You will also unlock the forging workbench. To craft this schema, you will need to craft some obsidian block and also harvest some earth cores. A forging workbench can only be placed on an active energy ley line. You can tell which one is active by the fact that its durability is decreasing, and there will be a bright ball of light in the center of the ley line. Once you place the forging workbench, select the item you want to forge, as well as the alloy created from the refining forge. Forging an item will give a bonus to any one of your survival or combat stats. The stat that gets improved is random, so you'll need to get lucky if you want to raise a particular stat through forging. You'll need a lot of alloys to forge each item, so be sure to stock up. Like with taming creatures, better items will allow you to forge your items faster and with better stat gains. Enchanted metal alloys will give you the best gains in our current version. If you use lower quality alloys, progress will increase slower and impurity will increase causing lower stat gains once the item has finished. Unfortunately, I didn't get so lucky with my first set of stats, but just keep giving it a shot until you have something you like. Just a heads up, right now only Mithril Breastplates and the new items from Black Ice Peaks, such as Bytorx Armor Set, can be improved on a forging workbench. More forageable items will be added in future patches. Well guys, that is going to sum it up for Dark and Light's new Forging Knowledge node. Again, my name's Cade with the community team at Snell Games USA. Be sure to like the video, leave us a comment, and subscribe to our channel for more updates on Dark and Light.